welcome back guys to unit 10 f on our cross curricular cut we are covering unit 10 f and the title for today is music if we look at the um, picture and you look at the page on page 107 we can see different types of uh, music and we also have what we what looks like mr bean so we'll be talking a little bit about music and movies at the same time um, so let's get straight into it. So our title for today is music Right, so looking at number one and looking at your page I will close this All right, read the text in the show text button and match the headings to the paragraphs Okay, so match these headings to the paragraphs. So we have paragraph a b c d and e and which words help you decide so this is an activity that you can do beforehand and i want to stress your attention to the paragraph paragraph a being before sound musical cliches stereotypical typical music sounds and music around the world right and the last one is listen carefully right, so these are our five paragraphs that we are going to use if we go back we need to read the text in the show text button and match the headings to the paragraph so listen carefully goes to which paragraph now if we look here yo it's labeled a b c d e and f all right and all we need to do is to check and fill in all of the missing paragraphs so we see that listen carefully is the last paragraph of our passage stereotypical music sounds goes to paragraph C before sound goes to paragraph A music around the world goes to paragraph D and musical cliches go to paragraph B as well all right so what I want to do is I want to delve straight in all right here we can see that listen carefully means to pay attention to the music right I want to go back again all right uh, stereotypical music if we look at stereotypical music uh, we're looking at music that loud sounds let you know something frightening violent music emotional scenes romantic movies adventure movies but we're talking specifically about the sounds okay so they use sharp and fast sounds for action scenes All right now when we talk about stereotypical it simply means that this is the type of ordinary um, sound that you can hear for every type of action movie every type of horror okay these are the usual sounds these are the stereotypical sounds that they use okay moving on if i can move back a little bit okay and there we go again and musical cliches all right uh if we talk about cliches uh particular moods and feelings right that's what we talk about when we delve a little bit in musical cliches so does this sound familiar that's the topic that we have for our reading passage if we go back all right i want to play the audio clip so that we can familiarize ourselves with the um, passage and what we are going to cover at the moment does this sound familiar Before sound, your grandparents may remember the old silent Charlie Chaplin comedy movies. If so, they'll probably tell you that without the music that accompanied them, these movies wouldn't be much fun. Musical Clichés Later, when movies began to have sound, directors combined pieces of music and sound to create particular moods and feelings. These pieces of music and sounds are called musical cliches. 
stereotypical music sounds. In horror movies and thrillers, loud sounds let you know when something frightening is going to happen. Violin music often accompanies emotional scenes in romantic movies, and in adventure movies, they use sharp and fast sounds for action scenes. Music around the world. Some musical cliches introduce specific places. Shots of Hong Kong, for example, often have xylophone music in the background, while shots of Paris come with accordion melodies. There are many musical cliches for different types of scenes. Listen carefully. So, next time you watch a movie, pay attention to the music in the background. You'll be surprised by how many musical cliches you can spot. All right, and that's the end of our audio clip, giving a brief explanation of what I just said when we talk about the musical cliches and the stereotypical music sounds, all right? A musical cliche is none other than a piece of music and sound, all right, that are, is associated with different types of movies. And the same goes for stereotypical, as the example says, they are sharp and fast sounds for action scenes. These are your normal um, sounds that you will get when you hear and listen to uh, the music and the sounds in action movies and comedies and horrors. These are your stereotypical music sound that you'll hear. And another word, if I can put it for stereotypical, these are the types of sound that's associated with these types of movies. Right, it goes together almost like hand in hand. Okay, let's go on to the reading for our music. Read the text and answer the questions. Right? So why was music important in old silent Charlie Chaplin comedy movies? Do you know the reason why? And it's found in paragraph A. Okay, because they were silent and without it they wouldn't be that fun. So that's why we needed to add some music to the movies to add just a little bit of flavor. All right, otherwise we'll be looking at a screen with no sound and it will be so boring to watch a movie like that. All right, how did the directors use music when movies began to have sound? So you guys were familiar with the fact that they used it to create particular moods and feelings. All right, an eerie sound or a sound that you can hear in a movie that's a little bit, if I can call it numb or a little bit down. So what the directors are doing is they make music according that will affect your mood. So happy music will enlighten your mood and very sad, sad music will give you a little bit of a depressed feeling when watching movies as well. Right, so what musical cliches are used in horror movies and thrillers as well as romantic movies and adventure movies, right? So different sounds go with different types of movies, right? So horror movies and thrillers, they usually have the loud sound usually to let you know that something frightening is going to happen. This is because they want you to experience what the actors are experiencing in the movies as well. Violent music often accompanies emotional scenes in romantic movies, while sharp, fast sounds are usually used for action scenes in adventure movies. Now, these are the type of emotion they want to create when you, when you are watching the movie as well. Alright, moving on. Which musical cliches remind us of Hong Kong and of Paris? And here we can see the xylophone music reminds us of Hong Kong and accordion melodies, right? Remind us of Paris. So what I'm going to do is I'll play a short video clip for us. What I want you to do is listen to it and listen to the sound that's accompanied with these video clips as well. Right. Does this sound familiar? 
Films have been around for a very long time, but films from the 1900s are very different from films today. They were in black and white and were silent, but they did have music to accompany them. Each theatre would have someone to play alongside the film. They would make music on a piano to go along with the action on screen. Later, when films began to have sound, the music was added as well. Directors used pieces of music and sound to create particular moods and feelings. We call these musical cliches. In horror films and thrillers, loud sounds let you know when something frightening is going to happen. Violin music often accompanies scenes that are emotional or sad. Comedy films have upbeat music and sounds that go along with the action on screen. Some musical cliches introduce specific places. Shots of Hong Kong often have traditional xylophone music in the background, while shots of Paris might come with accordion melodies. There are many musical cliches for different types of scenes. So next time you watch a film, pay attention to the music in the background. You'll be surprised at how many musical cliches you can spot. Alright, what an interesting video that we had and what we watched now. So you guys now have a little bit of an idea of the emotion that's attached to the different type of music. And if we look at some of the Q&A that we can answer, our topic for today, does this sound familiar? Right, so choose the correct answer being A or B. Now, if we went through some of the movie, the movie clip that we just watched, you would have noticed the type of feeling that you experienced. So film from the 1900s did what? They had no speech or didn't have music. And if we can, the correct answer is they had no speech. All right, music was added alongside as the film progressed. So they would add the music along with the movies. All right, but film from the 1900s had no speech at all which is a little bit strange to me because you, if they could have added the music, they could have added the speech as well. And it serves at the same purpose. So do take note of that. All right, each theater had a person doing what? Playing the piano to go with the action on screen or creating loud sounds to go with the action on screen. So each theater had a person playing the piano Right, and not creating the loud sound. Alright, musical cliches are pieces of music and sound that does what? Give the audience particular feelings or only happen in horror films. So, pieces of music and sound that does what? And the correct answer is give the audience a particular feel. Alright, so these are the emotions attached to the type of movie that we watch. So here you can hear violent music in frightening scenes or emotional scenes. And if you pay close attention, you will notice that it was actually in emotional scenes. Right, the xylophone is often used to introduce a comedy scene or a scene in a particular place. And the correct answer is a scene in a particular place. And the last one, according to music, accordion music, creates pleasant melodies or accompany scenes of Paris. And if you remember the last question on the video, you would have known that it accompanies scenes of Paris. And this was also in our reading passage as well. Right, moving forward, here we have three pictures, one of Star Wars, the 101 Dalmatians, here we have an eerie scene, it looks like a horror scene, and the famous Mr. Bean. Alright, so what type of movies do the pictures show? We have to fill in all the blanks. Right, so picture number one, for example, we have science fiction. Right now, they give more than the um, recommended amount of words so that you can fill in the correct words. Right, usually cartoons have this very 
a co- um, comedian type of style of music because it's tailored for children. So comedies and cartoons, I would say, go together, and it's animated as well. So we have happy um, animations, which includes comedies as well. Right, number three, what type of scene do you think this goes along with? Okay, two types, thriller as well as horror. Okay, so we have two types, horrors and thrillers. They usually have this dark ambience at the back to give you the sense of feeling that you are also in the movie and to keep the whole scene as gripping as possible. Right, and the famous Mr. Bean. All right. And we can associate that with comedy because Mr. Bean always makes us laugh in more than one way possible. All right, and that is the end for this page. And if we can move on, all right, listen to the two music extracts. How do they make you feel? Which of the types of movies below would you expect the music extracts to match? Right, so let me first play it. Right, and then let me just play the second one for you. types of movies below do you expect the musical extract to match right so we have science fiction and thrillers do not worry if you did not get it right the first time you can listen to it again and just reapply your knowledge as well all right and that's the end of our access book and we can go on to our workbook and then we can take it a little bit notch further right so open your workbook and we go to unit 10 if okay let's go on to unit 10 if uh, and the first part that we're looking at is vocabulary right so read the descriptions of some movie genres okay genres simply means different types okay read the description heading of some movie genres which genre are they describing and match the pictures to the descriptions okay so which genre are they describing or which category or which type if i can put it in more simple terms for us to understand all right so a movie that makes people laugh obviously horror movies if it's really funny, it will make you laugh. But most of the time, they do not give that specific feeling. All right, so a movie that makes people laugh will be a comedy. All right, so that's for number one. Number two, a movie about life in space or the future. All right, now the clue that's been given is broken down into two words. All right, and the only genre that we can fit in is science fiction. Right, and three, a movie about a love story. So looking at number three, a movie about a love story would be romance. Right, and these are our different types that we can associate them with. Right, number four, a movie about exciting experiences. Right. What can we associate and what is the genre that we can use? And that is simply adventure. Okay, moving on to number six. A movie in which cartoons are brought to life. Which movies can we see that cartoons are brought to life? And that is simply animated movies. Okay, and a movie about an imaginary world. The last one that we can fit in different types of movies if you did not get it it's okay right but a movie about an imaginary world we usually call fantasy movies right and that concludes it for our vocabulary for unit 10 f for number one let's go on to number two now here we have 
words that we need to match and use these same words in the context below. So looking at number one, match the words in the two columns, then use the words to complete the blanks in the text. Alright, so if we match the word in columns, we have pay pieces of silent music and create. And then we have movies, music, particular moods, cliches and attention. Right, so if we had to match these words with the correct numbers, we will say number one to pay. Okay, you we do pay to go to movies, but the correct answer for this is one E is when we pay attention, and that simply means to focus. Right, so one will be E, number two will be a pieces of music, so two will be B. Alright, number three, silent movies the three will be a four we will have musical cliches all right so four will be d and five will be create particular moods which will be c so the correct order for matching these activities will be one e two b three a four d and five c right now moving on to our next part we use these words to form sentences all right and complete the blanks in the text now if we look at the first sentence producers and directors have used music since the very first what okay if you can remember in the 1900s we call them silent movies okay so before silent movies were made right they used different what okay and the correct answer is pieces of music when they wished to do what okay so they use different pieces of music when they wish to create a particular mood right going on for example they used violence violence in romantic movies and drums in war movies right so these what musical cliches all right as they are called continue to be used today however if you pay attention which is number five you will hear them in the background so next time you watch a movie play pay close attention to the sounds and your mood and the specific mood that it creates in these movies all right Okay, moving on to grammar. Complete the sentences with the correct form of the words, verbs in the parentheses. Now, the verbs that we have in the parentheses are study, let, go, and watch. And here we have go as well. All right, so complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb. Mary wants study music when she finishes high school. Alright, so this is an action which will take place in the future. So we use to to complete our sentence. Alright, so Mary wants to study. If we had to use the verb in the correct parenthesis and we use studying, which we can use, but then what is missing is the word will. Okay, Mary wants uh, to study or Mary wants to be studying which will not be correct, but the correct words will be to study, which speaks of a future event, future tense. Right. Will you let me borrow your pen? The verb in the parenthesis stays the same. Okay. Will you let me borrow your pen? So we do not change the verb at all. Right. Now I want you to pay specific attention. It's worth go to Ibiza for summer vacation this summer this speaks of an event that is still going to happen All right so an event which is still going to happen in the future so we can see already that we are going to use the progressive form of this verb All right so it's worth going to Ibiza for vacation this summer All right so the correct verb in its form to use go is going right and going be going will be a progressive form of the word go 
Right, next, I suggest watch a movie this evening. Once again, this is an event that will take place later on. Okay, this is an event that will happen in the future. Alright, so we will be adding I and G. I suggest watch a movie this evening. And the verb in the correct parenthesis is watching. And the number five, I'm really go looking forward to go to Harry's party, which is an event which takes place in the future as well. And we say going. Alright, moving on to our dictation and I will play the dictation for us and I will give us the answers later on as well. So pay close attention to the dictation and then we will take it from there. Unit 10F Dictation Exercise 4 Page 77 Playing sports is important for a healthy body. You can play team or individual sports, and for those who like living dangerously, there are extreme sports. You can try any of the new sports crazes that are taking the world by storm. There is something for everyone. The choice is yours. Listen and write. Playing sports. Is important. For a healthy body. You can play. Team. Or individual. Sports. And for those who like living dangerously, there are extreme sports. You can try any of the new sports crazes that are taking the world by storm. There is something for everyone. The choice is yours. Listen and check. Playing sports is important for a healthy body. You can play team or individual sports, and for those who like living dangerously, there are extreme sports. You can try any of the new sports crazes that are taking the world by storm. There is something for everyone. The choice is yours. All right, and that's the end of our dictation, and I will reveal the answers to us, and then we can take it from there. Okay, and this is the answer key for Unit 10F, and I will display the um, audio script for us that we just listened to. Okay, and you can just pause the video over here and just see if you have the correct answers. Okay, and this is the audio script that we just listened to now at the moment. And that concludes the lesson for Unit uh, 10F. And thank you guys for watching and see you again.
Goodbye.